how do you actually restore moisture to straightened hair without it reverting back? Well, I have got the hidden secret. Hi guys, it's Lana here. Welcome back to Lana Summer Summertime. <laughs> On this channel, I help you get your best curls and your best life. So if that sounds like something you'll be interested in, then hit subscribe and turn on your notifications. So today's video is a hair video and I'm gonna be showing you how I refresh and maintain straightened hair. Because my hair is naturally curly, as you know. I wanted to be completely honest with you guys and show you what my hair actually looks like on a regular basis when I've straightened my hair because let's be honest I really don't wrap my hair every night I do it when I'm being a good human but most of the time I'm a lazy human it's how it looked this morning it's how it looked yesterday it's how it looked the day before yesterday this is so so easy so let me just show you what this looks like it also gives me some cute waves that I actually don't mind but I know that some people prefer their hair to be like dead straight when they've straightened it I feel like this actually gives me a lot of body it protects my hair and all I really have to deal with is these flyaways which are actually really easy to manage all right then so let's first talk about refreshing your straightened hair it can get really tricky because we want to moisturize it but we don't want it to revert back you moisturize with water but water makes it revert back you also want to add oils and things but you don't want your scalp to look oily this is a minefield honestly i'm about to get stressed so i think that my hair actually does a pretty good job at oiling itself sometimes too good which means that if i'm gonna have my hair straight for a week or two weeks or three weeks or a month then my my hair can start to look a little bit oily in which case I obviously take some dry shampoo this one is the Batiste dry shampoo in floral and it's <laughs> <So> what <laughs> this one is the Batiste dry shampoo in floral and flirty blush so it smells great it's a great refresher for your hair stops your scalp and your roots looking oily so let me just go and have a go at that I'll just spray it in my parting and you just rub it like this rub it in see it looks white like this not for long baby you just rub it in I think that this also helps to give a little bit of a volumizing boost as well so that's great if you're like me and when you straighten your hair your hair can kind of look a bit flat and weighed down and a bit like a wet seal or something so if you're like that then you'll like this stuff for the rest of my hair, I actually want to condition it, moisturize it, add moisture, get it looking soft, silky, instead of dried out and crispy. So I know that that is maybe the most difficult thing to achieve with straightened hair. Like how do you actually restore moisture to straightened hair without it reverting back? Well, I have got the hidden secret. Well, I'm gonna tell you how I do it. And honestly, I don't know if the science is correct behind it, but it's what works for me. So I'm gonna share it with you. This is one of my secret sources. This is the IGK Thirsty Girl Coconut Milk Leave-In Conditioner with 24-hour frizz control. Patented hyaluronic acid technology forms a rich moisture barrier for deep hydration and protection against hair damage pollutants. This thing is dry. This is a dry hairspray. It's a leave-in conditioner, but... Where'd you go? <laughs> It's cloud, it's smoke, it's gone. It's amazing. I'll show you on this little piece of hair down here. <laughs> and another little bonus tip, whenever I'm dealing with my straightened hair, I like to use this comb, this brush. Is this a bamboo brush? And I use this because it doesn't cause any static. It's actually an anti-static brush. I don't want to be like repeatedly straightening my hair or adding more products when the problem is literally just static. So I try to avoid that at all costs by using a wooden brush. So I'm just gonna apply this dry leave-in conditioner in sections like this. It feels scary at first because it feels kind of wet, but it ain't on the ends because obviously the ends can get very dry. And on top of that, I'm gonna spray another wet product and this one is actually wet. So with this one, I'm a bit more careful. I spray it from really far away like this. But this one actually has more of a sticky texture on the hair. Like not too sticky, like not uncomfortably sticky, but like, I just spray it like that. And on top of all of that, I actually put a little bit of oil. So this one is the Mark Hill Marac Oilers argan oil i love using argan oil when i've straightened my hair because it's just very light it definitely doesn't feel too heavy on my hair 
Do you want to look at that section compared to that section? <laughs> like this one has been moisturized and sealed with oil. And this one, this one ain't really got a lot of anything going on. Okay, so I haven't really fixed up the rest of my hair at the root and stuff, but I just wanted to show you the difference between the refreshed, moisturized side and the side that has not been re-moisturized. So the hair feels kind of difficult to run my fingers through because it is just a little bit dry, especially towards the ends. Whereas this side has had a drink, it's a lot softer, it's a lot easier to run my fingers through it. So if you really are worried about this reverting back, which I really don't think it's gonna, but for the time being, we can just wrap this up. So the reason I wrap my hair up like this is because it creates tension on the hair. And when there's tension, it's really hard for the hair to revert back because it might try and it can't <laughs> because it's literally being pulled into this style. So this is what I do, like if I go to the gym or if I'm in a hot environment, like at the club. So once again, I'm gonna section the hair. I'm going to spray, going in with the 12 in 1, perfect, it almost looks like I curled it when all I really did was keep it in a bun for three days straight. <laughs> Okay, so now both sides of my hair have been fully moisturized. So now it's time to actually sort out the parts that have gone frizzy and where I'm starting to see a little bit more curliness coming back as well. This is not from the routine that I just did. This is just from how I've been wearing my hair. I've actually, I was playing with my niece yesterday and she was spraying this at me. So that didn't help. And also just not covering my hair while I take a shower, just all kinds of stuff like that. And washing my face, I tend to always get my hairline wet as well. So we're just gonna target all of that stuff first of all. So I'm just gonna separate my hair here and I'm just going to take a bit of the back of my hair as well. Okay so with this part of my hair I am actually going to take the straightener. This is the Dyson Corral straightener. It's cordless. This is actually great. I did a full review of this a few days ago and I was kind of hating on the whole cordless thing because if you want to do a full head of hair you can't do a full head of hair cordless because it will need charging again halfway through but for a small top up like this we should have enough power so it's actually really great because I did this the other day I literally just stood up in front of the mirror quickly grabbed this off the side jumped to the nearest mirror and started doing it so that kind of freedom was like wow oh, okay well it has it's stayed charged amazingly another thing that I really liked about Hello. <laughs> Another thing that I really liked about this straightener that I didn't get to mention in the review video is that this didn't burn my hair. This one actually has 50% less heat damage because of the plate technology. And I think that it must have worked because my hair did not smell burnt. So I guess this did not burn my hair. Now look at us go, baby. And of course at the nape of my neck where I kind of sweated a little bit. We're just gonna do that bit. Obviously doing a little refresh like this is so much better than like fully going through and re-straightening your whole head. You see, I literally don't need a chasing comb. Look how tightly it holds the hair. Okay, now that front part's done, I feel like the rest of it doesn't really matter that much. This is gonna have some waves just because of the way that I wear my hair at night. So yeah, that is how I refresh straightened hair and restore moisture to ensure my hair stays healthy throughout this whole process. But now we need to know how to maintain the hair because we can't be doing all of that again the next day. Like I showed you at the start, sometimes I literally just put my hair into one big top knot and it gives me those loose waves like what you saw at the start. Sometimes I also put my hair into two buns so that I can have some more symmetrical waves on both sides and that just means twisting the buns in opposite directions on each side. That's actually a favourite of mine because I actually prefer the waves look to dead straight and I just feel like my hair sticks better with that than dead straight. I feel like if I step outside I'm more likely to get frizz like this whereas if I have the waves I feel like my hair just prefers it, just sticks with it. So I feel like it's just easier for everyone <laughs> to just do the waves. However, if I want my hair to stay dead straight, that is when I would do the wrapping method. And as long as you don't get the tops of your hair wet when you're doing your wash routine and that kind of thing, you should be able to avoid waves at the top of your head. 
that is how I refresh my hair, how I restore moisture, how I maintain my hair when it's been straightened. So if you enjoyed this video, please thumbs it up. Also, if you like this kind of video and you want to learn how to get your best goals and your best life, then subscribe to my channel, turn on your notifications. Also get me on Instagram for the blessings and the breakdowns because I put it all on there and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.